Hey, what's up, YouTubers? The Digital Runner back with another video, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make another space intro in Sony Vegas Pro 12. And it's pretty simple, but again, it does look professional. And it's really easy, probably not going to take that long, so let's get started. Uh, let me just show you what it's going to look like first. Uh, right over here, this is what it's going to look like something like this. Uh, you can have any image in the background. I found this, uh, it's like a wallpaper I searched up on. Google Images. I will put the link in the description just in case, you know. Yep. Okay. So now let's begin. Well, bam. We're gonna need uh three video tracks. So Control Shift Q three times. On the top one, you're gonna want your image. So select your image over here. Uh, I wonder how. I should, mm, nine seconds sounds good to me. Um, let's go over here. Next, we're gonna put in our text. Uh, go to Insert Text Media. Right click. That's what happens. Uh. Type in whatever you want. Uh, Digital Rhino. For me, highlight all of this. Uh, sorry if you're hearing clicks. I've got a new mouse and it clicks. Don't know if I like it or not. Uh, I'm not even sure if you can hear the clicks, but I'm just selecting text. Make it customizable to your own needs. Uh, any size, it doesn't really matter. Just make sure it's bold. That matters a lot. Uh, okay. Now, next, make sure go to text color and this bar over here decrease it all the way uh, what this does is that is that it removes all the color in the background now we're done with that go to advanced settings I'm not sure why this is in advanced doesn't really make sense but go to the background and go over here and increase this all the way up so it's black in the background now put this over here scratch it to the correct length and there you go uh, right click on your image and go to properties and maintain aspect ratio this removes the black bars helps out a lot uh, there you go looks nice uh, that's pretty much all now let's do our last edition well not the last edition but go to media generators and go to noise texture and find the lightning the lightning should be right over here uh, drag it underneath there you go uh, go to color number two and decrease it all the way so the opacity is zero uh, that doesn't show the black stuff and now you can make this any color you want uh, in the example that I showed you it was blue so why don't we go with like a green or something uh, that works everything's good uh, go to offset open it up over here drag this a little bit over here and why is my fan so loud oh my god jeez louise I could hear this thing from a mile away oh well you might be able to hear I'm not sure but Go to progress in degrees and click the animate uh, clock and drag your timeline all the way to the end like so. Go to progress degrees and scratch it out all the way. And now what this is going to do is make the lightning go everywhere. Uh, we're pretty much done here. Go over here. Just decrease this a little bit because it's a bit too long for me. That's what she said. Okay, now that we have this, we're going to go to pan crop on the lightning. So pan crop on the lightning. Uh, let's zoom out a little bit okay uh, let's turn this around like so uh, ba bam and uh, try to equal it out as much as you can perpendicular to this uh, now let's make this smaller and we just want to fit the box on the lightning uh, you can move this anywhere you want so right here is fine uh, make sure that a good portion of it is in the little F thingy pan crop and that's pretty much all you need to do over here now we're for the good part. Uh, whoops. Go up here. Go to what is this called? Go to I don't know. I forgot what this was called. Composite compositing mode. Uh, I haven't used Sony Vix in a while. So go to compositing mode and click add. And as you can see, this appears over here, and it does look pretty nice. Now we want to make this look awesome. So go to video effects, and go to bump map. Uh, go to the default one, put it on there, and it should do this. And now as you increase this, the finer the intensity gets. Uh, so here, let me just show you what I mean by that. Now if we just mute this and mute this, as you can see, this is what you see. So let's go to, oops, go to video event effects. And now you could decrease this, increase this to your liking. As you can see, this one looks pretty nice too. But I like it full all the way because I'm weird. Uh, actually, you know what? I think I changed my mind. This looks uh, this looks nice. This looks nice to me. 
uh, about this. Am I, uh, the one that I showed you, it's all the way full. Uh, whoa. Don't, there you go. It's all the way full like that. So, sorry if you're stuck in the background. Uh, that's good. Bye bye. Let's put this back on visual. And now, as you can see, as we move through the image, we see all of this. All this cool lightning stuff. Okay, now, why does it keep doing that? Ah, huh. odd. Oh well. Now, go to the lightning scene again. Let's make this smaller. Oh, God, this is confusing. Okay, uh, go to about near the end of your footage. Mine's over here. Click S to split the footage. And then just copy this. And then delete it. The reason I'm doing this is for precaution reasons because I don't want to change this thing up all the way. So once you delete and copy it, copy and delete it, uh, right click in the same exact spot and click paste. And click the first option. Uh, there you go. Perfecto. Now, if we look at this, uh, ba bam. Now, what I want to do is I want to make the whole, whatever you have up here, very visible. So, what I'm going to do to do that is I'm going to increase the number of layers. So as you can see, actually I'm decreasing the number of layers. Now, uh, let me find the correct one. I feel like such a fool. Okay, right now I can't seem to find the correct thing. So that's okay, we will do something else. Uh, let's go back to the normal thing. Smooth, no, what was it called? Marble? Was it called marble? Marble. Oh, jagged lines. Jagged lines it was. Okay, so that's okay. We'll just change it up a little bit. Go over here to the default, not the default thingy. Go to pan crop. Sorry, guys. And zoom in more. So I don't want this zoom in to come right away. That would just look weird. But go about over here. Zoom in a little bit like so. Go a little bit further. Uh, zoom in more. F further. Uh, zoom in more and you know what that would finish it off real nice uh, that control on each of these things right click and then slow not slow dang it smooth <laughs> okay that should be a lot better so now if we watch this we could see that the whole scene gets uh, a lot easier to see like so and we are done this is the finished product one addition that you can make it's completely optional but it depends on the picture that you have in the background as you can see in this background I have this large freaking Sun over here so I click on the spotlight flat spotlight up flat and go right on top of it and I adjust it so that the light is coming from here and it's oh, what is this it's coming from here like so uh, there are lots of different ones too like if you don't like that one it makes it too dark or something uh, lower left upper right glow perfect what the heck is this what the whatever I'll just keep this one uh, intensity increase the intensity a little bit uh, what does this do I have no idea I haven't used this for a while ah interesting this is completely optional I'm just experimenting with it right now which is probably not a good idea but here there you go this is good this is good I like this uh, just that's bump map the only thing you're gonna use out of all your video effects is bump map and I'm done sorry I went so fast I gotta go do something but thank you for watching that's pretty much all if you guys enjoy this or want me to make more tutorials and if you want to leave some suggestions just do all that stuff in the comments uh, now I gotta find the F10 key to shut off the video is this it